brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Marie Curie Marie Sklodowska Curie was a Polish and naturalized French physicist and chemist who conducted pioneering research on radioactivity. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, the first person and only woman to win twice, the only person to win a Nobel Prize in two different sciences, and was part of the Curie family legacy of five Nobel Prizes. She was also the first woman to become a professor at the University of Paris, and in 1995 became the first woman to be entombed on her own merits in the Pantheon in Paris. She was born in Warsaw, in what was then the Kingdom of Poland, part of the Russian Empire. She studied at Warsaw's clandestine flying university and began her practical scientific training in Warsaw. In 1891, aged 24, she followed her older sister Bronislawa to study in Paris, where she earned her higher degrees and conducted her subsequent scientific work. She shared the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics with her husband Pierre Curie and with physicist Henry Becquerel. She won the 1911 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Her achievements included the development of the theory of radioactivity, techniques for isolating radioactive isotopes, and the discovery of two elements, polonium and radium. Under her direction, the world's first studies were conducted into the treatment of neoplasms using radioactive isotopes. She founded the Curie Institutes in Paris and in Warsaw which remain major centers of medical research today. During World War I, she developed mobile radiography units to provide X-ray services to field hospitals. While a French citizen, Maurice Sklodowska Curie never lost her sense of Polish identity. She taught her daughters the Polish language and took them on visits to Poland. She named the first chemical element that she discovered polonium which she isolated in 1898 after her native country. Marie Curie died in 1934, aged 66, at a sanatorium in saint chalamoz France, of a plastic anemia from exposure to radiation in the course of her scientific research and in the course of her radiological work at field hospitals during World War I. Early Years Maria Sklodowska was born in Warsaw, in the Russian partition of Poland, on 7 November 1867. The fifth and youngest child of well-known teachers Bronilowa, Nabogowska, and Vladislav Sklodowski. The elder siblings of Maria were Zofia, Joseph, Bronilowa, and Helena. On both the paternal and maternal sides, the family had lost their property and fortunes through patriotic involvements in Polish national uprisings aimed at restoring Poland's independence. This condemned the subsequent generation, including Maria, her elder sisters and her brother, to a difficult struggle to get ahead in life. Maria's paternal grandfather, Joseph Sklodowski, had been a respected teacher in Lublin where he taught the young Bowles Law Press, who would become a leading figure in Polish literature. Her father, Vladislav Sklodowski, taught mathematics and physics, subjects that Maria was to pursue, and was also director of two Warsaw Gymnasia for boys. After Russian authorities eliminated laboratory instruction from the Polish schools, he brought much of the laboratory equipment home, and instructed his children in its use. The father was eventually fired by his Russian supervisors for pro-Polish sentiments, and forced to take lower-paying posts. The family also lost money on a bad investment, and eventually chose to supplement their income by lodging boys in the house. Maria's mother Bronislawa operated a prestigious Warsaw boarding school for girls. She resigned from the position after Maria was born. 
She died of tuberculosis in May 1878, when Maria was 10 years old. Less than three years earlier, Maria's oldest sibling, Zofia, had died of typhus contracted from a border. Maria's father was an atheist. Her mother a devout Catholic. The deaths of Maria's mother and sister caused her to give up Catholicism and become agnostic. When she was 10 years old, Maria began attending the boarding school of J. Sikorska. Next, she attended a gymnasium for girls, from which she graduated on 12 June 1883 with a gold medal. After a collapse, possibly due to depression, she spent the following year in the countryside with relatives of her father, and the next year with her father in Warsaw, where she did some tutoring. Unable to enroll in a regular institution of higher education, because she was a woman, she and her sister Bronila were became involved with the clandestine Flying University, a Polish patriotic institution of higher learning that admitted women students. Maria made an agreement with her sister, Bronislawa, that she would give her financial assistance during Bronislaura's medical studies in Paris, in exchange for similar assistance two years later. In connection with this, Maria took a position as governess, first as a home tutor in Warsaw, then for two years as a governess in Shizuki with their landed family, the Orovskis, who were relatives of her father. While working for the latter family, she fell in love with their son, Kazimir Zorovsky, a future eminent mathematician. His parents rejected the idea of his marrying the penniless relative, and Kazimir was unable to oppose them. Maria's loss of the relationship with Zorovsky was tragic for both. He soon earned a doctorate and pursued an academic career as a mathematician, becoming a professor and rector of Kraków University. Still, as an old man and a mathematics professor at the Warsaw Polytechnic, he would sit contemplatively before the statue of Maria Sklodowska which had been erected in 1935, before the Radium Institute that she had founded in 1932. At the beginning of 1890, Bronilowa, who a few months earlier had married Kazimierz Stielski, a Polish physician and social and political activist, invited Maria to join them in Paris. Maria declined, because she could not afford the university tuition, it would take her a year and a half longer to gather the necessary funds. She was helped by her father, who was able to secure a more lucrative position again. All that time she continued to educate herself, reading books, exchanging letters, and being tutored herself. In early 1889 she returned home to her father in Warsaw. She continued working as a governess and remained there till late 1891. She tutored, studied at the Flying University, and began her practical scientific training in a chemical laboratory at the Museum of Industry and Agriculture at Krakowski Przedmieście 66, near Warsaw's Old Town. The laboratory was run by her cousin Joseph Bogoski, who had been an assistant in St. Petersburg, to the Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.